Today, we'll make an unusual paper feather garland. We need color cardstock, thick thread, large beads, and a hole puncher. Draw feathers various in shape and size on the white thick paper. Cut it out. Place the patterns onto the color cardboard and trace. You can choose different colors depending on your mood, taste, or particular theme. Cut out with scissors, keeping in mind the details. You can make different numbers of feathers. The element of one size and shape can repeat in various colors. Take a scoring tool, an empty ballpoint pen for example, and score the rachis, the feather's center. Fold a bit, making the shape more volumetric. Crease other details in the same way. That's enough. Make holes in the feathers using a hole puncher. Thread a bead. You can use a needle. Put the feathers onto the thread. Alternate one bead and three feathers. Tie a knot at the beginning of the garland. Thread beads and feathers and tie a knot at the end. Done! This bright feather craft will become an original decoration for a kid's party or a photo shoot. Today, we'll make a double loving heart garland. Fold the newspaper in half. Cut out across the crease. Fold again and cut it out. Add a line of white glue across the edge. Wrap the knitting needle into the newspaper tightly starting with the corner. Press down the end to avoid unfolding. Pull the needle out. Make a couple of dozens of these details. Put a paper pipe into a piece of wire. Twist the sharp end of the pipe to hold it tight. Add some glue. Place another pipe to overlap the end of the previous one. Bend the wire to shape a heart. Put a small pipe onto a short piece of wire. Bend in half to make a loop. Glue the wire loop ends inside the heart pipes. Cover another piece of wire with the paper tubes. Bend in half. Make a cross frame to create a volumetric heart. Attach to one side on the heart's widest point. The cross frame is ready. Further on, we'll use pipes without wire. Glue a tube to the cross frame fixture point. Start wrapping the heart in different directions. If you need to make a pipe longer, attach the weaving with a clothespin. Fold the pipe sharp end. Add some glue and put it inside the previous tube. Continue wrapping. Complete the weaving when you see the heart is volumetric enough. Tuck the last pipe end into the center and glue. Lay a newspaper on the desk and cover the heart with a golden spray. Decorate the basic detail with a flower. Take a dark olive jersey. Crease an inch across the edge. Fold to make a square. Cut out to round the corner. You have a circle. Sew across the edge with a running stitch ruffling a little. Stuff with a hollow fiber filler. Make a bottom from a smaller piece of fabric. Sew with a dark thread. Form petals with a thick nylon olive thread. Start with the bottom. Form the petals in this way at equal intervals. Attach a red bead to the flower center using a glue gun. Make a leaf from a ribbon folded in half. Glue it to the back. Cut out a small square from dense, light olive fabric. 
Pull horizontal threads from the fabric to make a fringe. Now, form the name of the man whom you want to make the heart gift with a thick thread and attach it to a tartan ribbon. You can write it with a pencil instead. Place the ribbon onto the fabric square to center the name. Attach using a glue gun. Z-cut the ribbon ends. Decorate the top and bottom edges of the square with twine. Tie knots on both sides to complete the element. To make the fabric detail keep shape, cut out a smaller square from foam wrapping material. Glue it to the fabric's back. Attach the name element to the center of the heart. Use a glue gun. Decorate with fabric flowers. Make another heart in the same way. Make a nice bow from an organza and corded silk ribbon to unite these loving hearts. Make a smaller bow from red silk ribbon. Attach with glue. Put the two bows together. Wrap the center with a red ribbon. Attach the ends to the back. Fold a long piece of the red ribbon in half. Make a loop in the middle. Glue. Attach the ribbon to the back of the bow. Pass the ribbon end through the heart loop and glue. Attach the other end to the second heart. Our festive craft is ready. This fabulous double heart garland will become a romantic gift and decorate the interior for Valentine's Day. Today, we'll make a stylish garland using tissue paper, tassels, and a rope. We need tissue paper of various colors, twisted cotton rope, and fishing line. Cut the paper in half. Make lines every 0.4 inches. Cut the tissue paper in strips along the lines. Leaving about 2 inches margin in the middle, cut the same strips on the other side. Roll a tassel base. Fold it in half and twist. The tassel is ready. Prepare enough elements of various colors. Weave a fishing line into a rope. Attach the end with craft wire to keep it in place. Continue weaving following the twists of the rope. Attach a tassel with fishing line and weave it into the rope. Add a tassel of another color in 4 inches. Alternate the elements of different colors every 4 to 6 inches. Hot glue the tassels to the rope. This festive tassel garland will embellish your home for a holiday and add a little spring mood. In this tutorial, we'll show several awesome light garland decorating ideas for the bedroom. Now, we'll need lots of small round balloons. Inflate them and tie the ends. All of the balloons should be of the same size. Follow the same steps as for the nightlight. Smear the balloons with the cream. Choose threads of your favorite colors. Soak the thread with the glue. Wind all around the balloon. The first one is ready. Make the other balls in the same way. Now we've got a lot of smart round lampshades. Wait for several hours until they are completely dry. Prick the balloons with a pin. Remove the remains. Take a LED garland, as this kind of device does not heat as regular lights do, so it will not provoke a potential hazard of fire when used close to the thread lampshades. Place the ball shades one by one like they will be held on the garland. Match them by color. Widen the hole with scissors. Put the light bulbs inside. Done! Take scrapbook paper for another decorating idea. We'll need Dixie cups. Choose a LED garland again to avoid melting the plastic cups from the heat. Make a shade template first. Cut the cup open and cut off the lip and bottom.
Put the template on the scrapbook paper and cut out a lampshade cover using a craft knife. Be careful to underlay a cutting board, or you can trace the template with a pencil first and cut it out with scissors as you like. Wrap the cutout around the cup to see if it fits right. Perfect! Let's continue! Make various shade covers from different scrapbook paper. This color range will perfectly match a nursery design interior. Let's complete the garland lampshades. Use white glue to attach the shade covers to the cups. This is it! Make an X cut on the bottom of a cup. Pass a LED bulb through and be sure it won't slip out and hold tight inside. Repeat the step for the other cups. Add the finishing touch. Take small pieces of tool. Tie bows on the string between the lamps. Perfect! This gorgeous garland will decorate a kid's room interior or embellish an outdoor party. The fabulous DIY garland decorating ideas will help you create a cozy atmosphere on a summertime outdoor party. You can use the decoration for your home interior as well. Crepe and tissue paper tassel garlands are still on trend, easy to make and absolutely eco-friendly. We'll need some crepe paper rolls, twine and scissors. Cut in half each paper roll. Then each half cut in two. Stack paper neatly in piles of 4 to 6 sheets. Cut the fringe on each side. Leave about 2 cm uncut in the center. White paper appeared to be softer and so easier to cut. Gather and twist. Here we have a nice bushy tassel. Combine paper of 2 or 3 colors. Roll the paper. Even out. And cut the fringe. Take the twine string. This one is from the household shop. We'll need some twine to secure the loops of the tassels. 2 to 3 meters of twine for a base cord of the garland. Twist the piece and fold in half to form the loop. We are going to string the tassels through it on the base cord. Tie the base of the loop with a piece of twine. Repeat the same steps with the rest of the crepe paper. Alternate the tassels of different colors. The crepe paper garland is ready to adorn any indoor or outdoor party. It'll also make a perfect backdrop for your photo shoot. Subscribe to our channel and find more interesting homecraft ideas. Leave your comments.